not too much. And then in the middle, have it zero, have it closed. Like that. Yeah, so so it's slightly so what we can do we can have it slightly open but it's moving. So if we go here we can have it like slightly so it's moving a little bit. Maybe maybe have it you know we want it to be really subtle, isn't it? So I'm just bringing this all in. All right, we've got that working. And then you can start in the middle. What we can start doing is when we come here, we can just add a blink. Yeah, just to make it a bit interesting. And then this cheek, again, this cheek is we can select the. Well, actually, we can do. We can select these. And then we can just go down. Then back up, high point. And then down. And then back up. And then we have that there. Make sure these are matching. We can go in and really polish these later. But you've got that little bit of movement there in there. And we can offset that too. But you can, it's endless. You can go in and polish all these little things. So what we'll do now with the ears, we'll grab the ears. And we'll be like impact. And then impact. That's a bit too much. We'll, we'll delete. Let's delete this one. the is neutral and we'll just yeah, that's fine too we'll key there and here we'll just add a little bit of movement and we'll copy that to 19 so there's a little bit of movement doesn't have to be too much okay and then we've got this Here, here. So, what happens when there's an impact? When my moves forward, so we'll delete that. We'll delete all of this. Actually, we'll do it straight ahead. So, impact and then back, and then impact forward. So we just got a simple thing like this, yeah? And then we can always tone it down. So we flatten that. And to be honest, we could do this. We could basically key all of it. So if we delete, actually, if we delete these, select this to delete it. Select the bottom one and just key where you keyed all the first one. So you know you've got an indicator. So if we come here, we can be like, all right, comes forward and then forward again same thing with this one forward forward so
so you've already got that and now what you can do is just select all of these go into your graph editor flatten cycle if you want to tone down you can tone down let's offset so let's do one two and one two three four there so you've got that happening and then you can come in here and just tone it down you can tone it down from zero here because that's where it's uh, starting at zero so you can do it from there move this up a little tone this down yeah so you've got that happening bit of movement and then last but not least the main here so we can delete everything same thing here your impact so it's impact and then it's the same contact position is the same as the first impact back and then impact yeah. so you've got that and then you can just tone that down flatten it tone it down can even offset it one two or even one then you can try and tone it up see move it back okay Okay, that's offset. Let's see if we can do it by one. Okay, that's cool. And then tone it up. We'll tone it down a bit. That's better. So you've got a little bit of movement in the head there. A little bit. And then if you really want to go to town, you know, you can start working with the face you know like even here with the face we had so those key frames we put here we have a look in the graph editor again the bottom ones here just zero them out and then the top one you could match these and of course the bottom you can match this You delete these middle ones match you got any more yeah translations there so we can just roughly match these delete the middle ones roughly match these you can go back and add the values if you want and this one too this this one is fine we can just add this add values here. so you're just going and adding the values same thing here We're just matching trying to match the tangents and then you can just see if it's going up and down too much you can offset these so what we, what we can do here is offset it by one two because the top ones are moving the top ones here again you can play around with this as much as you want make sure the tangents and then you can go in and all this detail and just get it right how you want it you know there's so many things you can do you might even want to do the nose but all in all that's how you animate a character look at the hair the head's a bit more volume than it but that's how you animate a character on the spot so yeah Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. I'm going to be doing another one with the other characters because I find these characters really fun. So yeah, you get a nice little drag. Then you can start editing the torso timing. You can stretch everything, make it slower, faster, however you want. All right, guys, I will see you.
in next video and next tutorial. See you later.